This is how you can make an advanced giveaway system for your Discord.js version 14 bot, so let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get the source code from this video and other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership or a subscription over on Discord. On YouTube, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And over on Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you'll also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is interesting to you, go and click the links in the description below to get started with this and let's go ahead and get into the video. So we can start off by going over to schemas.js and we're going to go ahead and create giveaway schema.js. So now you're going to notice that this is very very long. I'm not going to make you type all of this out. I have linked a paste bin in the description below with this schema only. So go over to your schemas.js folder, go ahead and create giveaway schema.js and go ahead and paste the giveaway schema code in here. If you don't have these schemas set up, you can go ahead and do so by watching the MongoDB guide in the description below. So after setting that up, we're actually going to go over to the SRC folder, not in any command files, and we can go ahead and create giveaways.js. In here, we can do const, and we're going to get giveaway manager, and we can get GW, and then we can equal require, and we can get discord dash giveaways. Now for this to work, you are going to have to do npmi discord giveaways in your terminal. And then we can do const to giveaway model equals require, and we're going to get dot slash schemas.js slash giveaway schema. Then we can do module dot exports, we can do equals, and we're going to do class we can do giveaways manager and then we can do extends and we can do gw and we can go ahead and open this up and here we can do async get all giveaways and then we can open that up we're going to go ahead and return await giveaway model dot find and then we can do dot lean and then we can do dot e x e c then after that we can do async save giveaway and we can go ahead and pass in our message id and we can also get our giveaway data we can go ahead and return await giveaway model dot create and we're going to go ahead and put in our giveaway data then we can do async edit giveaway and we can do message id we can get giveaway data and we can go ahead and return await giveaway model then we can go ahead and do dot update one this is going to be a message id and then we can do comma and we're going to get to giveaway data then we can do comma and we're going to open this up we can go ahead and get omit and we can get undefined and we can set that to true and we can do dot exe c and finish that off so the last thing that we're going to do is we're going to do async delete giveaway and this is going to be message ID and in here we can return await giveaway model dot delete one and this is going to be our message ID and then we can do dot exe c and just like that. So after doing that we can actually go ahead and go over into our index.js file. We're actually going to go ahead and do const giveaways manager and then we can do equals require and we can do dot slash giveaways. Then we can do client dot giveaway manager equals new giveaways manager and then we can pass in our client and we can open this up. We're going to get our default and we can open that up again we're gonna get bots can win we're gonna set that to false we can get our embed color and i'm gonna go ahead and set that to blue so this is going to be in hexadecimal so i'm just gonna go ahead and put that in then we can go ahead and set embed color end and i'm just gonna go ahead and set that to the same exact color then after that we can do reaction and this is going to be any reaction you would like but for me i'm just gonna go ahead and put a giveaway emoji in there the standard giveaway emoji everyone uses and that's actually all we have to do for this entire index.js file so you can go ahead and close that off so now we can actually go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create a giveaway.js all right so in here we can do const and we're going to get our slash command builder and we can get our permissions a bit field and we can do equals require and we're just going to get discord.js we can do const ms equals require and we're going to get ms as well make sure you install that package and we can do module.exports we can do equals and we're going to say data we can do new slash command builder we can go ahead and set a name which is going to be giveaway and then we can go ahead and set description and this is going to be start a giveaway or a configure and existing one then we can go ahead and add a sub command and we can do command arrow function command dot set name and this is going to be start we can go ahead and set a description in here we can say start set giveaway we can go ahead and add a string option we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be duration we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the duration of the giveaway then we can open up some parentheses and we can say ie we're going to do one minute one day one hour etc we can go ahead and set required and we're going to set that to true then after that we can add an integer option and we're going to get option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be winners then we can go ahead and set a description and this is going to be the winners of the giveaway in numbers then we can go ahead and set required and we're going to make that true then we can add a string option and we're going to get option arrow function option dot set name we can go ahead and set prize then we can set a description and in here we can say what the winners will 
win. And then we can say aka the prize. And we can go ahead and set required. We're gonna make that true. We can go ahead and add a channel option. And we're gonna go ahead and get option arrow function option uh, set name. This is going to be channel. And we can do set description. And we can say the channel the giveaway should happen in. And we're gonna go ahead and set required to false. And then we can go ahead and add a string option. And we can get option arrow function option uh, set name. In here we can get content. Then we can go ahead and set a description. And we can say the content will be used for the giveaway embed and we can also go ahead and set required to false so then we can actually go ahead and create another sub command so we can do add sub command and we can do command arrow function command dot set name and here we can get edit and then we can go ahead and say description we can say edit uh, giveaway we can get a string option so we can add string option we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be message id then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the id of the giveaway and we can go ahead and set required we're going to make that true we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be time and go ahead and set a description and we can say the added duration of the giveaway in ms and then we can go ahead and set required and we'll make that true next we can add an integer option we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be winners we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the updated number of winners for the giveaway and then we can go ahead and set required we're gonna make that true then we can go ahead and add a string option and we're going to get option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be our prize and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the new prize of the giveaway and we can set required to false then we can add another sub command so we can do command arrow function command dot set name and this is going to be end and then we can go ahead and set a description and we can say end and existing giveaway and we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name this is going to be message id and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the id of the giveaway message and we can go ahead and set required to true and then we can add one more command so we can do add sub command and we're going to get command arrow function command dot set name and this is going to be reroll and we can go ahead and set a description and we can say reroll a giveaway and we can go ahead and add a string option and we can do option arrow function option dot set name and this is going to be message id again we can go ahead and set a description and we can say the id of the giveaway message and we can go ahead and set required and we're going to make that true and we can go ahead and add a comma we're going to do async executes we can pass in our interaction and our clients and we can go ahead and open this up in here we can say if and we're going to get no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we can get permissions bit field dot flags dot manage channels we can go ahead and return await interaction or apply we can say content and we can say you don't have perms to manage giveaways and we can go ahead and make that informal then we can do con sub equals interaction to options to get sub command and we can go in and switch and we're going to get our sub and we can open this up we can do case that is going to be start we can add a colon and here we can do await interaction or apply we can say content and we can say starting your giveaway and we're going to go to make informal and we're going to set that to true then we can do const duration equals ms and we're going to get interaction to options to get string and this is going to be duration and then we can go ahead and do or and we can leave an empty string there then we can do const winner count equals Equals. And we can do interaction to options to get integer and that is going to be our winners and we can do const prize equals interaction to options to get string and that is going to be our prize string and then we can go ahead and do const content main equals interaction to options to get string and that is going to be content and then we can do const channel equals interaction to options to get channel and that is going to be our channel then we can do const show channel equals interaction to options to get channel and that is going to be our channel and then we can do or and we can get interaction dot channel and we can say if no channel and we can say if no content main we can go ahead and open this up we can do client dot giveaway manager dot starts and we can get interaction dot channel we can go ahead and open this up we can go ahead and get our prize we can get our winner accounts we can get our duration we can get hosted by and in here we can actually go ahead and get interaction dot user we can get last chance and this is going to be our enabled that is going to be false we can get our content which is going to be content main we get our threshold which is going to be this very specific number so make sure you put it in here uh, you can go ahead and pause the video and actually put that number in there and then we can get embed color and for me that embed color is going to be blue which is that hexadecimal so one other thing here is i accidentally did if no channel and content main and then i put the giveaway in here just go ahead and delete that and then we can actually just go ahead and leave that blank so just put it exactly like this don't put this code inside of this if statement just leave this if statement as is all right so after doing
doing that, we can go ahead and say else if, and we can say no content main. Then down here, we can do client.giveawayManager.start, and we can get channel, and then we can open this up. We can get prize, we can get winner accounts, we can get duration, and we can get hosted by, which is going to be interaction.user. We can get last chance again, and in here, we can open this up. We're going to say enabled, and that is going to be false. We can say content, and that is going to be content main. And we can say threshold again, and we're going to get that exact same number here. Then we can get embed color, and that is going to be the same color we got above. Then actually right above that, we can say else if, and we can say no channel. Then right here, we can do client.giveawayManager.starts. Then we can go ahead and do interaction.channel, and we can open this up. We're going to get prize. We can get winner count. We can get duration. We can get hosted to buy, and that is going to be interaction.user. Then we can get last chance again. We can go ahead and open this up. That's going to be enabled true. We can get content, which is going to be content main. Then we can get threshold again, same number as above and below. And then we can get embed color, which is going to be the same as above and below as well. Then finally, we can do else and we can do client.giveawayManager.starts and we can go ahead and get channel. We can open this up. We're going to do prize. We can do winner counts. We can get our duration. We can get hosted by, which is interaction.user. Then we can get the last chance and we can open this up. We're going to get enable and that is going to be true. Then we can go ahead and get content and that is going to be content main. We can get threshold, which is going to be the same number as above. We can get embed color, which is also going to be the same number as above as well. So next, we're going to go ahead and change the else if channel one to true for enable. We can come down here and we're going to do interaction edit reply and we can say content and we can say your giveaway has been started. Check and we can go ahead and do show channel for your giveaway and we can go ahead and set the informal to true as well. So after that, we can go ahead and move on to our edit. So we can go ahead and break and we can go ahead and open up a new case and that is going to be edit. So down here, we can do await interaction or apply and we can say content and we can say editing your giveaway and we're going to go ahead and set informal to true. Then we can do const new prize equals interaction to options that gets string and that is going to be our prize string. Then we do const new duration equals interaction to options that gets string and that is going to be time. Then we can do const new winners equals interaction to options that get integer and that is going to be winners. Lastly, we can do const message ID equals interaction to options that get string and that is going to be our message ID string. Now we can do client dot giveaway manager dot edit and that is going to be message ID. Let me open this up. We're going to do add time and that is going to be MS and then we can do new duration. Then we can do a new winner count and that is going to be new winners. Lastly, we can do new prize and we can set that to new prize as well. Then we can do dot then and we can open this up like this. And here we can do interaction dot edit reply and we can say content and we can say your giveaway has been edited and then we can go ahead and set informal to true. Then we can go ahead and catch an error. So we can catch error and we're going to do interaction dot edit reply and we can go ahead and say content and we can say there was an error while editing your giveaway and we can go ahead and set informal to true as well. So after doing that, we can do break and then we can go ahead and get case and this is going to be end. We can go ahead and add a colon and here we can do await interaction or apply and we can say content and we can say ending your giveaway and we can go ahead and set informal to true. Then we can do const message ID one equals interaction to options that get string and that is going to be our message ID string. Then we can do client dot giveaway manager dot end and we can go ahead and get message ID one. Then we can do dot then and we can open this up. We can go ahead and interaction dot editor apply and we can say contents and we can say your giveaway has been ended and we can go ahead and set informal to true. We can go ahead and catch an error and in here we can interaction dot editor apply again and we can say contents and we can say an error occurred while trying to end your giveaway. And we can set that to informal as well. Finally, we can go ahead and break and then we can go ahead and get case and this is going to be reroll. And then we can go ahead and open this up. And here we can do await interaction or apply and we can say content and we can say rerolling your giveaway. And we can go ahead and make that informal so we can do true. Now we can do const query equals interaction to options that get string and that is going to be message ID. Now we can do const giveaway equals and then we can do client that giveaway manager that giveaway 
always dot find and we can do g we can do arrow function and we can do g dot guild id equals 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 interaction dot guild id and we can do ampersand ampersand g dot prize equals 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 query and we can go ahead and say or and we can do client dot giveaway manager dot giveaways dot find and we can go ahead and open this up we're going to do g we can do arrow function we can do g dot guild dot id and we can do equals 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 we can do interaction guild id we can do ampersand ampersand g dot message id equals equals and we can get our query just like that i mean say if no giveaway we can go ahead and return interaction dot edit reply and we can say contents and we can say i could not find a giveaway with the message id you provided and then we can go ahead and set that to informal as true then we can do const message id2 equals interaction to options that get string and that is going to be message id and then we can do client dot giveaway manager dot reroll and we can get message id2 then we can do dot then and we can just go ahead and open this up we can do interaction at our apply and we can say contents and we can say your giveaway has been re-rolled and we're going to go to make that informal then we can go ahead and simply catch an error and we can go ahead and interaction at our apply and we can say contents and we can say there was an error trying to re-roll your giveaway and we can go ahead and set that to informal as well so with that we are actually done with this entire system so we can go ahead and restart the bot and test this out all right so over in our discord server we can actually go ahead and start by doing slash giveaway and we have a start command here so we can go ahead and choose our duration for me i'm just going to do one minute we can do winners and that's going to be one we can do prize and we can say a uh, custom role for example and we can just go ahead and send it now as you can see here it's going to go ahead and start my giveaway and it's going to start it in this channel and it's going to go ahead and count down so i'm just going to go ahead and react to the giveaway as you can see here and it's just going to go ahead and count down from one minute and then pick a winner instead of letting it end on its own i'm just going to go ahead and do giveaway and i'm just going to go ahead and choose end we can go ahead and get the message id and we can go ahead and send it and as you can see it's going to go ahead and end it and it's going to give me me as the winner because i'm the only react now we could go ahead and do giveaway reroll but if we reroll the message id as you can see it's going to say no valid participants so no new winner was chosen because obviously i already won so it cannot choose a new winner so we can go ahead and start a giveaway again we will start it as one day for example we can do one winner we can do test we can go ahead and send it now we can go ahead and do giveaway edit i'm going to get the message id i'm going to get the time and we'll set this to one minute and we can set the winners to five and then we can set the prize to nitro or something like that and as you can see it's going to say my giveaway has been edited it's going to set it to nitro and then it's going to go ahead and set it to five winners even if it doesn't end in one minute it's perfectly fine because we can always just go ahead and do end giveaway or giveaway end and then we can pass in the message id and as you can see it's going to go ahead and end my giveaway and it's going to actually say giveaway canceled because there were no valid participants all right so that's how you can make an advanced giveaway system for your discord.js version 14 pot if you do need any help with this go ahead and join the server in the description below and we'll be able to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video